After suffering a 2-1 loss to Westchester, the field hockey team met with A-10 rival LaSalle. Temple was able to overcome a slow first half with a goal in the second half by who else? Bridget Settles with her team-leading eighth goal of the season. The Owls will go on to win 1-0. Their next game comes the 30th against St. Louis. Now onto the court where the women's volleyball team look to continue their winning ways, hoping to get their fifth straight win. The Owls look good winning the first set against St. Louis, but would drop the next three, losing three games to one. Young Yi Zhang again makes headlines for the Owls, leading the match with 19 kills. Next game for the volleyball team comes in D.C. against G-Dub. Temple junior forward Lavoy Allen was named to the five-man preseason All-A-10 first team. Lavoy will try to pick up where Deontay Christmas left off as the main scoring option for the Owls. The men's varsity eight boat finished an impressive 12th out of 43 boats at the Princeton Chase. They will look for continued success in their next race on November 14th. Rookie running back sensation Bernard Pierce was rewarded for his second for his record-setting performance by being named the athletes university's athlete of the week. The freshman stud rushed for over 200 yards and three touchdowns. It's that time of the year. Candy and costumes for all at Temple. We are all used to seeing our athletes in the traditional cherry and white uniforms. But for Halloween, they have other ideas. Al Sports Rudy Mezzi has more. Whenever we see our Temple athletes, they're wearing pads, jerseys, helmets. Well, this weekend is Halloween, so we'll get to see them wear a little something more fun. Well, since I'm a gymnast, I figured I would be a Spider-Man since I could flip around and you know, climb all over the place in my house. We are going to be Woody and Buzz from Toy Story. I think I'm going to be Catwoman. I'm going to be a bad ass ninja, you know, so. I plan on being a mummy, and I'm going to wrap myself in toilet paper. Maybe be called Stanky. Gandalf. Or, or maybe Bart. We're going to be volleyball yeah, players. <laughs> We are thinking about the Three Musketeers, but I don't think that's going to work out. And, uh, the candy bar? I have no idea. 40 Spice or someone? I'll be Michael Vick, and uh, my friends are going to be dogs. I'm going to dress up as a, as a fireman. I'm going to be Kat Von D. I'm being sleepy. I think I'm being Doc. Johnny Drama from Entourage. We're all going to be the, the Jonas Brothers. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm going to be Kevin, and them two are going to be the other ones. And we all know these athletes can play. But can they craft? Spandex, or jerseys. jerseys, knee pads, socks, sneakers. I was thinking charming because it would be softer on the skin. I'm going to wear my hair down. You know, I'm going to buy a big long beard with the whole bodysuit hood. Well, first I would have to get a lot of gel, get some terrible clothing. I'm going to get larger fake tattoos, just put them on my arm. I got like some spandex. I know I got a belt. It's going to be Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> for all these spooktacular athletes, I'm Rudy Mezzi for Owl Sports. Happy Halloween. That should wrap up this edition of Val Sports Update. For all you need to know about Temple Athletics, be sure to log on to alsports.com. For Matt Plunkett and the rest of the Al Sports team, I'm Josh Rotenberg. We're the men in gray. Now you see me, now you. <laughs>